You're watching Teen Kids News. I'm Veronique. Here's this week's top story. It's not unusual to be afraid of something, but when you're so afraid of that something that it affects your life, that is unusual, and it probably needs to be dealt with. Amelia has this report. What we're talking about are phobias. Dictionary.com says a phobia is an irrational fear of a specific object, activity, or situation. To learn more about phobias and how to deal with them, we're speaking with Calliope Barlis. She's the author of this book, Phobia of Relief, From Fear to Freedom. <laughs> Hi, Calliope. Hi, thanks so much for having me. Dictionary.com says a phobia is an irrational fear. What does that mean? It's unreasonable, which means that it's like a fear on steroids. It prevents us from doing the things that we want and being the person who we really are. Okay, so how does a phobia differ from just plain everyday fear? An everyday plain fear is good because it's there to protect us. You want to fear fire to a certain degree because you want to avoid it so you remain safe. You want to be fearful of not doing well on your test so that you take all the steps necessary to get the grade that you want. All right, so besides fire and fear of failing a test, what are some of the things people have phobias about? All sorts of things like dogs, spiders, snakes, clowns, ghosts, and even the dark, you name it. Okay, ghosts I can understand since I don't believe ghosts exist, but I am afraid of snakes. They can be deadly, which is real. Is my fear of snakes a phobia? The key word is irrational fear, because if you live in a place where there aren't many snakes and that prevents you from going outside because you're so afraid of them, that's a phobia. But if you were to see a snake in the wild and you're not able to tell the difference if it's a pet snake or otherwise, then it's smart to stay away from it. That sort of fear protects you. So how do I deal with a phobia? First, by using your imagination. Because too often, just by talking about a spider will make people flip out, which means that it's not the actual spider that's making them feel afraid, but it's their imagination, how they're thinking about it. So is it possible to use our imagination to actually get rid of a phobia? Picture this. Imagine taking a test. You can either flip out, even though the test is two weeks away, or instead, you can imagine yourself being calm, getting the grade that you want, and doing all the steps in order for that to happen, which means you've created a plan. So how you think influences how you feel. If we can't imagine our phobias away, should we just live with them or get help? There's no reason to live with phobias when there are plenty of professionals who can help you overcome them. Good advice. Thanks, Calliope. Thanks so much for having me. If a phobia is keeping you from doing the things you like, remember, you don't have to live with it. And if you can't deal with it yourself, don't create a phobia about getting help. Get help. For Teen Kids News, I'm Amelia.